If you want to completely lose yourself in a video game, an ultra-wide gaming monitor is one of the best ways to expand your PC gaming setup. Standard widescreen is great, but ultra-wide displays eliminate the need for a secondary display with a giant screen that stretches all the way across your field of vision, just as with any other category of monitors. Though, there are tons of options to choose from, and not all of them will get you what you need. We'll walk you through the detailed decisions that go into picking the best ultra-wide gaming monitor, then highlight some of the best options available in the space. One, Samsung Odyssey Neo 9. If you can afford the $2,500 price tag, the Samsung Odyssey Neo 9 is as good as it gets when it comes to ultra-wide displays. The 49-inch, 32, 9 screen is quite literally the same space as two screens pushed together, and the 1000 er curve allows the display to surround you with bright, vibrant colors whenever you boot up a game. The 9 has tons of ports, including two HDMI 2.1 ports, the only screen on this list that offers them so you'll want to pick up the best ultra-high-speed HDMI cables. You could put this screen in almost any category on this list and have it make sense. It's just that good. You just have to come up with the money to bring it home. Do MSI Optics have PG340 Wonker. We do not recommend pairing a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X with an ultra-wide gaming monitor. Neither the PS5 nor the Xbox Series X support 21, 9 or 32, 9 displays. While these new consoles are capable of a greater range of resolutions, the Xbox Series X can do 1008 1400 and fork output. While the PlayStation 5 can do 1008 and 4, none of them explicitly support ultra-wide resolutions, unlike PC. So no matter which display you pick, plugging in a console means you'll have to contend with black bars. That said, we do have an option if you feel compelled. MSI claims that the optics and PG341 core is optimized specifically for PS5. According to the company, it will accept a forked signal and downsample it to 1,448 rather than upscaling a 1080 signal. This display also supports 120's gameplay at 1080 over HDMI, a nice feature for the small, but growing number of console games that support it. 3. Gigabyte M34 The Gigabyte M34 is the definition of a budget pick. It delivers strong features for just $500 but comes with some technical compromises. The M34 offers a solid set of gamer-focused features like a 144's refresh rate and compatibility with both G-Sync and FreeSync. The cost of that low price is color depth. Most displays on this list feature 10-bit color, which translates to over 1 billion colors. This is an 8-bit display with just 16.7 million. It'll still look good but you're more likely to see color banding in some images. And don't bother turning on the HDR. All that said, curved ultra-wide gaming monitors don't come cheap. You will be hard-pressed to find a better option at this price. 4. AIK 34 Twox If you're on a budget and looking for an ultra-wide gaming monitor, look into the AIK 34 Twox. It has the same screen size and resolution as the Gigabyte M34, as well as its 144's refresh rate. But there are a few differences between this and the Gigabyte. It has fewer features than the Gigabyte, which is normal for a budget-friendly model. But many of those features have to do with productivity, like its KVM switch, so it doesn't make a difference while gaming. It also has FreeSync support and G-Sync compatibility, and gaming feels responsive thanks to its low input lag. 5. LG 34x150B If you find the Dell LE were all 3423 with too expensive or don't need the super ultra-wide format of the Samsung Odyssey Neo 9, you can still save some money and get a high-end monitor with the LG 34x150B. It has the same 34-inch, 3440x1440 screen as the Dell, and it has many of the same great gaming features, but you lose out on the remarkable picture quality which is what you have to expect for getting a cheaper display. Still, it has a 144s native refresh rate that you can overclock to 180s with a display port connection, and its variable refresh rate. VR support works with AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have the cash, an ultra-wide gaming monitor can be a great way to expand your desktop without using two displays. The options run the gamut from affordable daily drivers to premium monsters. The Samsung Odyssey Neo 9 and LE work you do would stand out as especially appealing options if you're looking to spend whatever it takes. For everyone else, our top and budget picks give you most of the same benefits, albeit with less impressive color space. Any of these options should make most any gamer a happy camper.